staking internet computer ICP on the NNS. So this is something that I've been kind of wrestling with quite a bit. Probably six weeks, two months ago, I thought, you know, let me just get a certain minimum amount of ICP, then I'm going to stake it, lock it up for eight years, done deal, awesome, let's do it. And then as I was accumulating ICP, I thought, you know, I could do that, I could stake, and it could be a really good thing, you know, over the long term, or it could prove to be a bad idea. You know, after all, a lot of people, they say, don't marry your bags, just make money where you can make money. And for the most part, I, I agree with that. However, when it comes to internet computer, because it is so capable, because it was fudded so much by SBF of FTX as he tried to bury internet computer, and because the price is still relatively low and a schmuck like me can afford to buy a decent amount of it. That means that I have an opportunity to accumulate a decent amount of internet computer. In fact, right now I have a little over a thousand ICP. Would rather have five or 10 or 25,000 ICP, but what can I say? I don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to just go and buy ICP or anything else for that matter. And so the struggle with stuff like this is, you know, if ICP goes to $200 and I sell at $200 and I have a thousand ICP, then I just sold and collected $200,000. You know, it might take 10 years to get that $200,000 that I would have got a year, year and a half after buying ICP if I didn't have it staked. Likewise, there's a proposal to reduce staking rewards in the form of not allowing eight-year dissolve and only allowing five-year dissolve. And for those of you that are familiar with internet computer staking, there are, to my knowledge, there are three components really to the staking rewards. One is, well, actually, maybe there's four. One is like the base staking reward. Two is the voting rewards that they offer. And then you get additional rewards for maturity. And then you also get rewards based on how long you have your ICP locked up. So eight years is the maximum that you can stake for, which means that if you stake today for eight years and you lock it in, you can start dissolving today. But it's going to be eight years before you can actually get a hold of your ICP, transfer it to an exchange and sell it. And that's also why you get the best rewards when you have your ICP staked for eight years. And I believe the maturity bonus caps out after you've had your neuron staked for four years, assuming that you're not continually adding more and more ICP to the same neuron, because that will water down your maturity rewards. And then on top of that, if you're voting, you know, you can get 15, 16% APY. In fact, I think I want to say there might be people that still have a little bit higher staking rewards than that somehow or another. And so, you know, like I've said in some other videos, I feel like internet computer is the next big thing. You know, there, there are people, in fact, there was somebody today, they came on the channel and left some comments and they're basically saying, oh, you know, confirmation bias, you know, just another channel that just, you know, feeds confirmation bias and, you know, don't marry your bags. And I don't care how I, how good ICP is, even though the tech is way better than most other cryptos, if not maybe even all other cryptos, I'm here to make money. And so I don't, I don't care about internet computer that much, even though I'm holding it, which had me kind of scratching my head a little bit. And look, they're not wrong. And I never said at any point in any video, that you can't make money with other cryptos. In fact, I've said that and I think every video where I talk about internet computer, and I've also pointed out that, you know, I'm in crypto because I wanna take a little bit of money and make it more money. But coming back to internet computer, you know, if, if I had the chance to buy thousands of Ethereum for $5,000, knowing what I know now, I would absolutely do that. If I had the chance to go mine myself 10, 50, 100,000 Bitcoin in a span of six to 12 months with a GPU, knowing what I know now, would I do that? Would I go back in time and do that? Yeah, of course. Would, would not everyone do that? And that's the thing. That's kind of what I feel like the opportunity with internet computer that is staring us in the face is. You know, and there was somebody else, I think yesterday, that left a comment, you know, they thought that they were so smart. You know, they would say stuff like, well, Ethereum's worth thousands of dollars and people are making money with Ethereum. Therefore, Ethereum's better than internet computer. And it's like, no, but you're, you're completely missing the point. Three years from now, five years from now, 
internet computer could be $1,700 each. And if I'm pulling in 50, 100, 200 ICP passively every year from staking, people like that are going to be like, oh man, if only I, I, I invested in internet computer, if only I stake some. Now on the flip side, I could take the thousand ICP that I have and I could stake it. And five, 10 years from now, I could say, well, that didn't work out. I more or less lost my money. So people that said, don't hold long term, buy low, sell high, rinse and repeat. They were right. And that's the problem. We don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what the future brings. Okay, so just so we're clear, here's my Coinbase account. This is where I bought internet computer, and it's also where I still have my internet computer. And just slow down, people. I'm very well aware of not your keys, not your crypto, and I should move it to a wallet and yada, yada, yada. Just chill. But this is definitely a web page, as you can see, as I sit here and refresh it, right? I'm at Coinbase, and if I go to my assets, you can see that I have 1001.6 internet computer. And I move some more of my quant back over to Coinbase and I have some HBAR and I have a little tiny bit of Ethereum and just a few scraps of Bitcoin because I moved over a million Satoshis off of Coinbase finally and put it into my cold storage where I now have about 9.4 million Satoshis. And, you know, I have some dust or scraps of a few other things down here. And I have a little bit of cash because I've been debating on whether I want to buy back into Pangolin because I sold some Pangolin. And the reason that I sold some Pangolin is because I thought that it was going to dip a good 10 cents. So I figured since I was up almost 2x, I was going to sell, wait for it to dip 10 cents, buy back in, wait for it to go back up again and sell again. And one of the reasons for that, by the way, is because I've already made some money this year in large part on Pangolin, which means that I'm going to owe some amount of money in taxes come next year. So I was just thinking of just keeping it rolling and make some more money, sell before the end of 2024 and hold some money to settle up my taxes in 2025. But in any case, you know, you can see my internet computer here. In fact, if I go to advanced and if we go to orders and here, why is it only show? Oh, because I have it filtered to PNG for some reason. Let's take off the filter. And there you go. You can see on May 19th is when I lost last purchased some ICP here on Coinbase. And you can see that I purchased 375 ICP. And just a little before that, the day before that, I purchased 75 ICP. Isn't that amazing? And if you go back here on April 30th, I picked up 30 ICP and 20 ICP and 1.5 and 55 and so on and so forth. And so, yes, this is a real account. This is really 1001 ICP. I haven't decided what exactly I'm going to do other than the fact that I am going to make an Internet identity. I haven't yet. I've I've been dragging my feet. I have a full time job. I also try to work on YouTube and I have a couple other responsibilities in my life. And maybe it's a bad excuse, but that's why I haven't done that yet. I also want to order another metal backup because I want, you know, if I'm going to put a thousand ICP into an NNS account, I want those seed phrases backed up in addition to having more than one device authorized. And I will probably also make a backup copy of those seed phrases to my stone book as well for convenience, as well as for redundancy. Even though there is definitely a case to be made for not keeping too many copies of your seed phrases around, because the more copies you have, the more you have to worry about losing one of those copies and then somebody gaining access to your wallet. But in any case, I will very likely create an NNS identity soon and transfer my internet computer over there. And then I'll probably explore protecting that with a hardware wallet, although not a ledger, not really a fan of ledgers. Hopefully things besides ledger will work. I assume that there are other wallets that you can use, but I haven't been down that path of discovery just yet. Once I get to that point, or maybe on the way to that point, I hope to come to a decision as to whether or not to stake. I also suspect that if I stake 1,000 ICP, I will have less anxiety about it because at that point, done is done. Can't cry over spilled milk. Don't have to worry about making the decision. The decision's made. 
But yeah, I, I've been kind of stressing out over this decision, quite frankly, because it's a big deal. Like this is not all of my crypto, but it is more than half of what I have in crypto right now. And so as you can imagine, internet computer is a pretty big chunk. And you know, if internet computer goes to $350 in 2025, that's $350,000, right? So if I were to start staking now or tomorrow, next May, next June, I'll have over, or at least I should have well over 100 ICP earned in maturity that I could then put into a new neuron and then transfer right back to Coinbase or some other exchange and just sell it and take profit. And I could probably at least get my initial investment back out of it. But yeah, it's um has not been easy going trying to make a decision here. How many of you are staking for eight years? And what was your rationale? Like what what's gave you clarity? What's what passed through your mind for you to make this decision?